began to chase a dream that is bigger than you. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me for this month's communication and commitment. I love this particular month because I feel like the way we communicate with others also reflects on the way that we communicate with ourselves or we communicate with our body. So in this program, before we actually get into moving, I'd love you to really have an, an understanding of, again, the way we communicate is so vital in the success of who we are. So let's just uh, go into a little presentation here. And all right, here we go. All right, so once again, here we go, communication. And this is so vital in everyday activities from family to work, to the classes you go to and your friends, et cetera. And if you look at these images, we, obviously you live right now in such a society where the first image is so stressful and so toxic. Um, we're just, we're at odds with each other in so many respects as to where if we just step back for a moment and said, you know, I need to take the time to listen, or I need to just step back and let that individual, you know, talk before I actually say something. And then I think the most important thing of communication, believe it or not, is just silence and being with an individual or even yourself and taking time for you, either in you know getting outside for a nice walk or meditation, et cetera. All of these facets are a way to communicate. And if we look at the, the two images rather than the first image, we have we'll change our sympathetic nervous system our blood pressure will go down, we will feel better, we'll be more positive, and we'll have a better life. You know, and we communicate both verbally, as I am doing now, kinesthetically is touch, um, just even, you know, putting your hand on someone's shoulder, sends a, re a neurological reaction through the body and the brain. And especially uh, kinesthetically, verbally, and visually, you know, when something is really positive, once again, the brain will light up uh, exponentially um, when it's a positive kind of feedback versus a negative kind of feedback. And I think this is so vital too, is just taking a moment before we speak. And that art of listening, even to our own bodies or speaking, you know, to ourselves, again, Imagine, you know, you're you're in your car and somebody cuts you off. You can either breathe or you can sit there and go, oh, you know, that darn person, why did they do that? And then again, what happens to your blood pressure rather than, you know, just going, I'm going to breathe through this. Maybe they have somewhere to be, you know, maybe there was an emergency and they weren't paying attention to the fact that I was there. Once something is said, can you take it back? And many times, and we've all done it, we regret things that we've actually said to someone. And, you know, there is, is nothing more powerful than forgiveness and or just saying, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Did you really mean it? And especially if you're communicating with somebody, you know, and you put them down or whatever, it doesn't make you feel any better in all honesty. Again, we live in such a world of toxicity now that, you know, many people are living on toxicity versus, you know, positivity. Um, you know, what was our intention when we said something to someone? How did your body feel from positive or negative communications? I mean, this is so vital. And we're talking about your health here. Um, this isn't just about, you know, doing a workout, but, you know, if you've just had a fight with somebody and you're like, oh God, I gotta go bust it out in the class, you're actually raising your stress level then maybe dealing with it in a different way and taking a more mindful approach like yoga or meditation, then you can go back and you know really think about what you said or they said. Does your heart rate increase? It most definitely will, both again, in a positive situation. You know when that person walks in the room that you, you're at, that you adore, your heart rate might flutter a little bit. It's 
it's a happiness. It's a, it's just a sense of well-being. Or when someone walks in the room and you you know you you're not you know you're not aligned with that individual, your heart rate is also going to increase. So sometimes it's just best when you're in the presence of what I call energy vampires is to simply walk away or just say a pleasantry like, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. And then you'll, you'll find that your breath will not shorten, but you'll also maybe feel like, oh, I, you know, I feel better. I feel better about the way I handled it. And then it's up to them. It's, it, it's, it's their issue uh, if they don't communicate with you well. So this is off of Indeed. Top communication skill, again, is listening, active listening. Um, communication method is being friendly, you know, with your coworkers, being friendly with your family. And it's so much easier to be friendly than it is to be mean, at least for some people, I guess. Uh, being confident in what you're trying to express, sharing feedback, volume and clarity of how we speak uh, to uh, an individual. And I think this is one of the biggest ones is being empathetic and respectiveness and, re and responsiveness. When we, you know, when we listen with empathy, I think not only does it empower us, but it also so much empowers them. So if you go forward in your day after you've listened to this program, think about, I mean, just take a moment and really hear what you're saying to someone. How does it make them feel? A smile doesn't cost you anything. I mean, that's a visual way of communication. You know, the way we feel about ourselves in so many respects is going to be a reflection of how we treat others. So if we're feeling negative about ourselves, that's going to come across, you know, exponentially. You know who those people are. They, you know, they're down on everything. They're always criticizing other people. But really what they're saying is they're criticizing themselves. And once again, it, I, I truly believe that when we walk away from toxicity, it makes such a big change. What is that you think on a regular basis? That's pretty important. So our subconscious mind doesn't have a sense of humor. So if we're constantly thinking negative thoughts about ourselves and someone else, the, the subconscious mind goes, well, I'm gonna manifest that for you. So if you constantly think of yourself, oh, I'm so overweight, or I'm not prettier enough, I'm too old, those thoughts become patterns that are very hard to break. So we have to break those patterns of, again, negativity. Write down, Three things that you really love about yourself, you know, and don't hold back. Imagine that you are telling, you know, somebody that you love something wonderful about them. Like, gosh, your eyes are beautiful or you have such a wonderful smile. And can you make a habit of the positive features and attribute, attributes of yourself? And when you start thinking this way, watch how your body responds. It responds so much quicker than if we're constantly beating ourselves up. And again, living in gratitude, I think that is one of the, you know, gratitude is attitude. And when we have an opportunity to live in the moment, you never know what's gonna appear in front of you or who is going to appear in front of you. And when you move, can you communicate these positive thoughts? And when we go through our workouts today, uh, I'll be constantly reminding you, what are you thinking right now, et cetera, all right? My core is getting strong. My, my arms are just, you know, so wonderful. Um, so it's strength, power, and focus of this program today. So let's move forward to a new you. So once again, what, I, what I'd love you to do is after this program is write down three positive attributes about yourself, just three, so that you have an opportunity to go back and just really, you know, embrace it, digest it, be with it, and look at those three things that you write down for the next week. See how you do with that. And, and notice how you go into the holidays with more joy. I promise it does work. It really and truly does work. So many people, you know, 
again, in our society are losing hope. And maybe it's you that can, that can give hope to somebody so that they, you know, that they feel important. And when that happens, watch how, watch how your life magically changes. So, uh...